Is Nintendo the new EA? Is that sensational enough as a title? Yesterday, Nintendo launched the Dr. Mario World app for mobile devices. Go figure. And it's being brought to people's attention that to play this game uninterrupted, you have to shell out $5. Shell out. You see what I did there? That, was, that wasn't even intentional. But I recognized it halfway into saying what it was. Anyway, user Illumium on Reddit brings to people's attention that yesterday, after the launch of this mobile game, it's similar to the original Dr. Mario for Famicom, but with your standard free-to-play mobile flair taken straight from the school of Candy Crush. Candy Crush is all about the nickels and dimes. Get into your pallet, wallet, Paulette. Hey, there are various characters that can be acquired through a gotcha mechanic each with a unique power that can be used and there are three main currencies in the game gold hearts which are used to play levels and diamonds with the premium currency every time you play a level you lose a heart and in typical mobile game fashion you gain hearts over time or can request them via a clan system what you talking about clan what you talking about clan man the alternative is to buy hearts which can only be bought with diamonds these hearts will run you 10 diamonds for 5 hearts or 30 diamonds for 60 minutes of uninterrupted play, i.e. infinite hearts. I mean, you get where the guy's going with this. Here's the full price of the currency. Oh my bing bong. Now, <laughs> should the internet be outraged about this? Man, I don't know. It is a mobile app. I don't know. I don't know what we're supposed to expect with the shit that they put out on that. Uh, but maybe it should scare us a little bit. Maybe looking forward to uh, to Animal Crossing, we should be frightened. What if they have uh, mechanics to skip time in Animal Crossing? Boy, what do you do in Nintendo? Maybe we don't care though. So why am I making this video then? If we, we shouldn't care, maybe we should care. I mean, let's see what the comment section has to say about it. All right. So some guys all like, this whole thing is very sad, but it is the market. It is what the market wants. Sorry, I'm like over here trying to move the screen so that it's not like cut off. Jesus, God forbid OBS just just not be a nightmare. I'm I'm literally clicking the what the fuck. What are you doing to me? Why you why you hurt me? Make me make me fool now. Okay, is this it? No, is this it? No. I'm like moving things that are in the and I'm ruining the workspace. I should just send this to him. Fallout's updating, that's still on the hard drive? Oh no, okay, I found it, look. The whole thing is very sad, says some commenter, but this is what the market wants, apparently. They don't want to pay up front, but will either pay in time, or for the few that do spend, probably more than it would cost to pay up front. That's a lot of words for a point made short. You know what I mean? I guess, I guess what he's trying to say is that most people won't buy a game, but they'll get a free game and then pay to skip why couldn't you have said it eloquently the way that i did just now people say not to pre-order but still do it in big enough quantities for games to be released half finished destiny anthem baby fallout 76 all the games that i just listed launched in the state of a bag of dicks. People say that they want decent mobile games without these mechanics, and yet they don't buy the games when they come out. People vote with their wallet, and this is what you get. Talking about this is what we got. Oh, tell you what you do, and you do it. Somebody else says, as far as I'm aware, this is the first time that the doctor has been seen outside of Smash Bros since the original title. Somebody else said he's had several games. Oh, so we just got somebody correcting the guy in the comments section. Typical. 
Number three says it's a sad state of affairs, but the mobile game market forced Nintendo's hand when they tried to put out Super Mario Run with a $10 price tag and were not was not met with great success. Oh, I forgot that that game even came out, but if it was $10 to play, hell nah, I wasn't going to be doing that shit. Fire Emblem Heroes ended up making so much more merit revenue with its gotcha model. Yeah, some people are going to pay those fucking mobile games. Not me. Miss me with all of that shit. Who's in the mood? Not this guy. Not this guy. Is that it? Number four, uh, so you lose a heart even if you win the level? Most games of this nature only charge a heart if you lose. Jesus Christ, I didn't know. The plot thickens. If you win, you still lose. It's not even like a, a punishment for being bad. It's just like, oh, well, we gotta take it so you have to make it. And by make it, they mean buy it. You'll like it when you try it, they think. Which is why I don't try it, okay? You should be an adult. You guys should be adults. Not you specifically, but people who buy into this mobile game model where it's like, hey man, I just, just one more. I just, I just need to buy a little bit more. Of, of the microtransactions? You're ruining the industry. I mean, we're all ruining the industry. If you bought Anthem, you bought Fallout, you bought Destiny, and you got fooled, that's one thing, man. But to defend that game, <laughs> as if it wasn't a piece of trash when it came out, why? Why do that? <sighs> it's gonna stay the way that it is. I suppose there's nothing we can do. Somebody says it's per time you play a level, just like an energy system in similar games. The worst instance I recall is seeing when, no, the worst instance I recall seeing was in the Lemmings mobile game, which, if I recall correctly, cost energy to play a level, as well as costing energy every time you placed an object in a level. That was not a seamless transition into the beginning of that song again. I, I looked up a 10 hour version of this song thinking that it would, you know, have its shit together. Maybe just blend it so that it seems like one endless song, but it was just like, here's the end of the song and here's the beginning. Is this how you make videos? Yong Ya would be ashamed. I'll see you guys next time. Yong. All right, it's enough. That's <laughs> enough. So uh, Kyle here with the nickeling. So you lose a heart even if you win the level. I mean, again, nobody in the comment section is telling me what to think. Um, forward slash sarcasm. So... The bottom line is, I don't even think this is worth worthy of news. I feel like I should put out this video because otherwise it'll just end up on the mountain of other things that I start recording and then realize what's the point of this, right? But wouldn't it be funny if other people made a video about this as if it were an, an issue and tried to justify it? as anything more than just some bullshit mobile game that people shouldn't play. You know? It's when they pull this shit in a real game that we should be worried. And I guess it's scary because games like Destiny are getting away with charging $60 on launch for nothing, $20 for more, $20 for more, $40, and then the game's complete. All the while they're nickel and diamond you with not like Fortnite or, you know, a game where you can just see what you want and then buy it. But they're selling you loot boxes. They're selling you a chance to get to something in the game. Funny stuff. Ooh, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'm growing out of it. So that's who you want your news from. Somebody who's who's whose care is dwindling on the things that are going on in this industry. Sorry, but I hope you guys. I hope you have a great day. You know. I hope you have a great day. I uh, hope you have a great wait a minute. Mm, 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 mm. Have a great wait a minute. Where's Dia right now? <laughs> She's been out of the room for like a minute. Mm. This is what I do when she leaves the room. I go, oh my God, gaming news. What else is going on in the gaming news? Let's say Stadia to support only four smartphones, all of them Google smartphones. Would you look at that? <laughs> a kid emptied his bank account playing FIFA. Classic. Cuphead has now topped 4 million sales. Wonderful. Oh, who cares? Uh huh. Alright, take it easy, guys. We tried. I don't know what this was. 
but it was a video to say the least. Unless somebody, of course, is really interested in these Dragon Ball Z Kakarot screenshots. I don't know, man, this game doesn't look as polished as that other Dragon Ball Z game that came out, but if you're crazy about it, then maybe you need to go back. Maybe it's just like tugging on your nostalgia. Love ya. See you later. Take it easy.